Good morning, Calvary, and happy day after Easter. I trust that you and your family were able to celebrate Easter in a wonderful fashion. Even though we couldn't gather together, Jesus is still alive. He is King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and he has changed our lives. And I hope you know that truth today. hope it resonates in your soul. Uh, we're getting back to our study in Philippians, and uh, today we're in beginning chapter 2. And this is a, a chapter that is just full of life-changing impact. I want to share with you verses 1 through 4. Listen to this, follow along, hope you're reading this, and, and hear these words of encouragement from the Apostle Paul. He says, So if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord, and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Hey, just a couple of quick thoughts that really do make a life-changing difference. First of all, the Apostle Paul talked about being of the same mind, united in purpose and in spirit. And here at Calvary, we, we like to put it this way, we are not about uniformity or conformity to a, an external religious standard. We are united in love and in mission. We're united because Jesus loves us, He saved us, He's changed our lives, He's given us hope. And, and because of that, we come together in that love for God and the love for the people that need to know Jesus as Savior. And so uh, doctrines matter, scripture matters, we teach, we study, but we also understand that there's going to be some differences in what we believe. And as long as we value each other and love each other, because we're united in spirit and we're united in the mission of Christ, we're going to serve together. And I believe we're going to see the communities of Parker and Lake Havasu come to faith in Jesus Christ because we are united in that love for Jesus and we're united in the mission of leading people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, verses 3 and 4 are some of my favorite verses in all of Scripture. I share that because these are verses that God used to change my life, to teach me how to relate to the world, how to relate to other people. And I think if we can live these out, then it makes a huge difference in, in us personally, in all of our relationships and as followers of Jesus. Because he said, let, you know, don't do anything from selfish ambition. Period. It's not about you. It's not about what you want. It's not about the things that you desire. He says, don't do it because of selfishness, but rather consider others more important than yourself. Now, other people are not more important than you. Jesus died for you. Jesus loves you. But he died for them and he loves them as well. And so what he's asking us to do is to look at other people from a servant perspective. To emulate Jesus by saying, hey, uh, even though I may not want this, I'm going to do this because I care about others more than I care about getting my way. I, I care more about the good of others than I care about winning an argument. You see, when you embrace that attitude of humility... It changes every relationship, it changes every conversation, and it no longer becomes about how I can get what I want, but how can I serve you? Not merely looking after my interests, but also the interests of others. So I wanna challenge you to look at your life, think about your relationships, and start practicing Philippians chapter two, verses three and four, every single day. I'd encourage you to memorize those verses, to write them down all over your house, your car, wherever you're going to be, so that you can be reminded to have the attitude of Jesus.